Hey folks, and welcome to the Let's Play of Final Fantasy VII, the original. Well, I figured, seems how I'm setting up a YouTube channel, uh, it's a perfect excuse to go back and play this amazing game. So, here we are. I'm gonna crack open a beer, take a quick sip, say cheers, and let's get down to business. I'm gonna try and 100% everything in this game. Um, gonna be a lot of fun I hope you guys are gonna continue to watch along with me and uh, man it's gonna be such a nostalgia hit like I love this game it's cliche to say but it is my favorite it is my favorite game um, for a lot of reasons uh, but even if you are not a Final Fantasy fanboy or girl you can at least appreciate what they managed to achieve on the PS1 uh, especially from a game design point uh, point of view and a storytelling point of view and a art point of view and a sound production point of view it, a lot of very 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 good elements came together to make this game um, the success that it was and currently is um, all right let's get stuck into it oh yes those ps1 era graphics just something about it. Just so damn good. Slowly getting there. Man. They really made this opening pretty damn ominous as to the setting. But it really does just blow your mind the first time back in the 90s when you played it. It was just... Yeah. There was nothing quite like it. And there she is. So good. Ooh, like, what an introduction. And the logo design. Just on point. Now arriving. Next up. Terrorism. Let me get a ticket. Let me check your ticket. Uh, why? They did not know that these guards were both one day from retirement. It's sad, but common occurrence when it comes to security. Come on, newcomer, follow me. Okay, first thing I'm gonna do, and not that, but I'm going to go and sound. Okay, cool. That should uh, make it a little bit easier to hear the microphone. Alright, let's roll. I love how like the, the guards just ignore Barrett altogether. They're like, nope, that guy looks like he can break one of us in half with his bare hands. Let's go for the skinny guy. But jokes on you guys. This is uh, Japanese, so you went for the wrong character when you picked the spikiest headed one in a lot. And even the uh, attack animations and stuff in this game. For the time, just exceptional. Oh, I did not realize you could get stuff off these dudes. Huh. 
learn something new every day. Down that way. Whoa, you used to be a soldier, huh? Not every day you find one in a group like Avalanche. Soldier, aren't they the enemy? What's he doing with us in Avalanche? Avalanche makes me think of the old G.I. Joe cartoons, where they used to just scream, Yo, Joe. And now I can't get out of my head that these guys just use Avalanche as the same thing. He was the soldier, Jesse. But he quit, and is with us now. That's totally trustable. <laughs> totally. Cloud. Not changing that. Cloud, uh, I'm... I don't care what your name is, what your names are. Once this job's over, I'm out of here. Well, wow, playing it cool, Cloud. Playing it cool. The hell you all doing? I thought I told you never to move in a group. Our target's the North Macro Reactor. We'll meet on the bridge in front of it. Ex-soldier, huh? I don't trust you. Well, we just met, so... That's it's, it's pretty fine. Also, it's not broken. Don't try and fix it. So barren it is. Okay. And there we have the iconic shot. Of the reactor. Just so damn good. Let's go. This way. One thing I do not um, miss when it comes to game mechanics is the uh, random encounters. And kind of the time delay, but I don't mind the time delay too much. It's a... Uh, missed, goddammit. It's a... Uh, sign of the time we've made it. Gotta twirl my sword. It's, you know, legitimate badass. Wedge. I'll secure an escape passage. You concentrate on the mission, lad. Jeez, we're really gonna blow up this huge furnace up. This'll make. This'll be something to see. My ability to talk is also something to see. I'm so close. Ah. I see the guards who teamed up against me with the uh, squid people. Yeah, I did not mean to attack him because I wanted to prevent that from happening. Uh, design on the basic Shenra soldiers. Uh, just, it's pretty excellent. And character design is one of the biggest reasons why I love this game. Uh, they just did such a good job of making characters fit within the world, but also happy and engaged. Which is something you don't see in the most recent Final Fantasy games. Um, although I have to admit, for me, Final Fantasy is Final Fantasy 7, Final Fantasy 9, then Final Fantasy 8. Everything before and after. Uh, I'm not a big fan. I gotta, I gotta be honest. Yo, this is your first time in a reactor. No, after all, I did work for Shinra, you know. Cloud the smartass. Oh yeah. The plant's full of Mako energy. People here. It's the lifeblood of this planet, but Shinra keeps sucking the blood out of these weird machines. I'm not here for a lecture, let's just do it. Code and collect, like the professional he is. Alright, come with me from now on. Nice. Biggs only got the code for this door. Make it so. Yeah, I'm not sure that's much of a code as the more of a pressing a button, but sure, whatever. And if 
I remember correctly, there is... Ah, yes. Loot. Sweet, sweet loot. Phoenix down. Nice. And even these backgrounds, yeah, they're pixelated, but... Just... it just looks so good. It really, really does. And I know many of you watching this are gonna be like, no, it looks like trash, but I'm gonna disagree with all of you. I, I just mean straight at them. Where's the button? I used to always think that that big yellow switch on the wall was the button. And yeah. Little by little, the reactors drain out all the life. Then they'll do. Yeah. Then that'll be that. It's not my problem. The plant's dying, Cloud. The only thing I care about is finishing this job for security and the Robo Guards come. Robo Guards. The, uh, <laughs> the naming as 80s, 90s, and 2000s as possible. Cloud keeps an assortment of partners in his treasures, as well as airships, swords, and a few other things. Alright, let's sit down here. And Jess can move fast. First time I saw Barrett's design, the fact that he just had a gun attached to his arm. That is probably one of the coolest things uh, you can come across. Alright, I now know how to use a ladder. This is going well. I must say, the uh, Shinra health and safety codes are just. they are on point. They really, really are. Should be a safe place to work. And there we go. Ooh, save point. Shall we save? Shall we not? Yeah, we might as well. Alright. Let's save. God, the backgrounds just look amazing. There she blows. Ooh, materia. I will take that. Restore. Nice. When we blow this place, it ain't gonna be nothing. More than a hunk of junk. Eloquently put, Barrett. Cloud, you set the bomb. What? Do your own damn dirty work. Shouldn't you do it? Just do it. I gotta watch to make sure you don't pull nothing. G trust building exercises where you hand the person you don't really trust an explosive. Fine, I'll do it. Watch out. This isn't just a reactor. Well, that's foreboding. What's wrong? Uh. What's wrong, Cloud? Hurry it up. Don't hurry the guy holding the explosives. This is not a not a not a good call, Barrett man. Just just not a good call. Well, that went well. Heads up, here it comes. It's as if he knew this was gonna happen. And he just didn't say shit. All right, got to attack. Uh, gonna use bolt. And with any luck, I'll get that limit break. Maybe after this. Alright. 
Scorpion tail. That's not what I wanted to be hit with. I dare you, sir. That's just rude. Although I do now have Cloud's Limit Break, which is pretty great. Search scope. No one cares. I am actually going to use my first potion on Cloud. And then... Bolt. I really hope he doesn't go into uh, his secondary mode as I do this. Yeah, it's all good. God damn. Alright, here we go. Should be enough damage. Yep. So, I am going to go into defend. Cloud Barret, be careful. Attack while its tail's up. It's going to counterattack with its laser. That's very misleading. It's like, attack while its tail's up, it's going to counterattack with it. So then don't. Just not the best advice, woman. Man, I don't know. Who's giving us this advice? Yeah, that's it. That's it. Play the long game. Now we can attack. It's like the um, the life of tree in Final Fantasy IX, where if you just cast life on it, it kills it instantly. That always made me laugh. And the music and sound effects, just for its time. Exceptionally well done. And I think a lot of the charm has been lost uh, in the remake, which is, you know, it's it's fine. It's they made a killing on selling it. Uh, it looks great. It just it's very different to the style that this game has, I guess. Um, with the hand-drawn backgrounds and the you know polygonal characters and the 3D renders and the combat mode, it's just from a design point of view, it's it's got something very special to it. Kind of like. Um, if you look at World of Warcraft and how long that's been around, I think 20 odd years. It doesn't look amazing, but because of its art style, it is, uh, it's almost kind of timeless. Because it's got that art style. Whereas if you find games that are kind of like, um, Final Fantasy XIV or, uh, you know, things like uh, the old Warhammer, uh, Age of Reckoning, I think it was called, they don't age great because they've gone. for a graphical update, like a, a nice lick of paint on it, which just doesn't age as good as something that has a particular style. Come on, let's get out of here. Ten minutes to detonation. Yeah, that's hopefully enough time. Alright. Okay. A little bit more of a uh, security team. Call that a gun. This is a gun. Barrett, you let me down, man. You let me down. All right, you can limit break now. Let's let's just do it. Come on, one shot it. There you go. Why do you have to embarrass me that way, man? Like, oh well. Ooh, so close. Got a potion? Nice. Alright, we're going to ignore saving. We're just going to head straight on with it. Another one. This should finish it off. Nice. I like how they just celebrate after every fight as the timer's going down. <laughs> if they do not make it out, they'll, you know, they will have died how they wanted to go. Just mocking the people they butchered. 
Alright. Now we need to head up here. And if I remember correctly, I need to save her. As a kid, I used to just run past her. And I, if I remember, you'd be called back to save her. My leg is stuck. Thanks. Let's roll. They did not hear about fire exits when it came to this uh, reactor design. Okay. Not gonna worry too much about the one in the middle. Near three. I like how we pilfer money off them every time we kill them as well. It's like, you know, the place is gonna blow up in 10 minutes, but we can do a victory dance. We can, uh, you know, root through their pockets, take their stuff. Why do monsters have pockets? Who knows? You know, why don't they don't? Who's to say monsters don't need cash? Let's get the hell out. Don't decipher it. I like how they wait for me to, um... <laughs> to, uh, to be the one to tell them that they can get the hell out of the building. Run! And in classic 80s fashion. You never look back at the explosion. Ever. Damn, that was quite that was quite the explosion. Keep the plant going at least a little longer. Yeah. Okay, now everyone get back. If you survive the last explosion, I think this one will be fine. That was okay, maybe not. Cloud doing a forward flip through because he's a badass. Ah, wedge. Forever known as the hero who got cindered on his ass. Alright, now let's get out of here. Rendezvous at Sector 8 train station. Split up and get on that train. Sounds like an easy thing to do. Hey. If it's about your money, wait till we get back. Hmm. Should've got paid before, and Cloud, or at least half the money. I mean, I'm guessing this is like... Terrorism 101? Maybe? I don't know. Damn, that's not a gentleman. Flower girl. Excuse me. What happened? Nothing. Nothing. Nothing happened at all. Don't see many flowers around here. Oh, these? Do you like them? They're only one gill. Yeah, I'm not that cheap. It's fine. Fair. Thank, thank you. Here you are. Now, I wonder if we, I can put that to use at some point, but I, I don't remember. Man, I just... This is appreciating the background. So good. Alright, let's see all these people scrambling. Let's ask this dude. Just what the hell's going on? Oh, gotta grab that potion. Wonder what that is on the wall over there. Let's see. Don't be fooled by Shinra. Mako energy doesn't last forever. Mako is the planet's life source. Life, life source? Life source. The end is in sight. Or is in sight. Protectors of the planet. Avalanche. You see, it totally is G.I. Joe. Instead of just shouting Yo Joe, they're just shouting Avalanche. Yeah, where are you going? Huh? There's no boxes around here, is there? I would like for there to be boxes. So I can get things. Or I need the loot. I need all the loot. Alright, let's go. 
Hey, you there. Shinra. Eh, let's fight them. Why not? That was easy. Like, I'm the guy who just entered a reactor, slaughtered the security, including the big security bot, and made my escape. These basic beat cops think they're going to be able to handle me. Fair play to them, but they're probably not being paid anywhere enough uh, gill to actually make this worth their time. Oh. Let's fight them again, because why not? Go down fighting, that's the way you want to do it. Now, in typical uh, 80s kung fu movie, or just 80s laws to begin with, uh, they will fight me one-on-one. -on -one. That's the only reason Cloud can beat these guys, because if they didn't, the three of them would just bum rush them, and that'll be that. It's an unspoken rule. And there we go. Little victory dance, don't worry about it, it's all good. Alright, time to run. Oof. Oh, a back attack, I see how it is. I see how it is. Hey, re remember the 80s rule. God. Okay, you broke it first, so you're gonna die. That's... Okay, it's smart what you're doing, but it's breaking them rules. You started it, so you're just gonna be unfortunate. I could just picture him disintegrating into a mist. This is not not great. Got to be honest. I don't have time to mess around with you guys. Enough babbling. Grab them. I mean, forward flipping through explosions, hopping onto trains. This is why Cloud is an iconic badass through the ages. Not only that, but his timing is exceptional because this happens to be the exact terrain that everyone else got on. What are the odds? Cloud never came. Cloud, think he was killed? No way. Cloud. <laughs> That's... It's not weird at all. Say, do you think Cloud's going to stay and on and fight for Avalanche? How the hell would I know? Do I look like a mind reader? If y'all weren't such screw-ups... Hey, Barrett, what about my money? Uh, I... They, they've got the right idea. I mean, it's it's, it's a dangerous career choice. Uh, nothing. Sorry. Probably a good call as well. Being trapped in a cart with Barrett's probably not good for your health. If you annoy him. Yep. Like a badass. Looks like I'm a little late. Damn right, you're late. Come waltzing in here, making a big scene. It's no big scene, just what I always do. <laughs> Bleep. Having everyone worried like that, you don't give a damn about no one but yourself. Hmm. You were worried about me. Wow, that's coming out of your share, hotshot. Wake up. We're moving out. Follow me. Hey, Cloud, you were great back there. Ah, Wedge. Forever remembered for being the guy who got his ass burnt. We'll do even better next time. Careful, I'll shut this. Now we're alone, Jess. Now we're alone. Oh, Cloud, your face is pitch black. There you go. Say, thanks for helping me back there at the reactor. 
Well, now I'm alone. Let's go this way. Uh, nope. Okay. Fine game. We'll play it your way. Last train out of Sector 8 station. Last stop is Sector 7, train graveyard. Expected time of arrival is 12.23 a.m. Midgard standard time. This is your captain speaking. Damn it. Lost opportunity. Yeah, I can imagine people running out of a cart pretty quickly if a giant guy with a machine gun front arm just wandered in. This is why I hate the last train. Ooh, boy. I think that's universal across pretty much every city. Is there anything here? This is my house. Make yourself at home. What does this got to say? See the headlines in the Shinra Times. Terrorists that bombed number one reactor are based somewhere in the slums. Blowing up a reactor. They sure put some thought into this one. They must have a real calculating leader. <laughs> if only they knew. I wonder what they'll do next. Stop acting like a damn kid. Sit down and shut up. This train hasn't switched to security mode yet. I'm sure that will change by tomorrow. Someday Avalanche is gonna be famous, and me too. Sure you will, Wedge. Sure you will. Hey Cloud, you want to look at this with me? It's a map of Midgard rail system. Let's look at it together, I'll explain it to you. I like this kind of stuff. Bombs and monitors. You know, flashy stuff. That's my kind of woman. Okay, it's about to start. This is a complete model of the city of Midgar. It's about 110,000 scale. The top plate is about 50 meters above ground. A main pillar supports the plate in the center, and there are other support pillars built in each section. Uh, whisper, whisper, the number one reactor we blew up was in the northern section. Then there's number two, number three, all the way up to number eight. The eight reactors provide Midgard with electricity. I thought they were there for show. Each town used to have a name, but no one in Midgard remembers them. Instead of names, we refer to them by numbered sectors. That's how things turned out. Phew. Look what's next. Look. This is the route this train is on. The route spirals around the main pillar. We should be coming around the center right now. Each checkpoint has an ID sensor device. It checks the identities and backgrounds of each passenger on the train. Hmm. Very sophisticated. Just the kind of dystopian future you would expect. And is linked up to the central data bank at the Shinra headquarters. We definitely look suspicious, so we're using fake IDs. Well then, speak of the devil. That light means that we're in the ID security check area. When the lights go off, you never know what kind of creeps will come out. <laughs> I'm going to get you when the lights are off. We're almost back now. What a relief. Please, don't bother the other passengers. But how do I get to the snack cart? God damn it. Look, you can see the surface now. The city don't have no daylight. Day or night. Uh, if that plate weren't there, we could see the sky. Floating city. Pretty unsettling scenery. Huh? Never expect to hear that out of someone like you. You just full of surprises. The upper world is a city on a plate. It's because of that shit Pisa that people underneath are suffering. And the city below is full of polluted air. On top of that, the reactor keeps draining up all the energy. Then why doesn't everyone move onto the plate? Don't know, probably because they ain't got no money or maybe because they love their land no matter how polluted it gets. Yeah, uh, fair points. I know, no one lives in the slums. Really? Oh, okay. <laughs> because they want to. This makes more sense to me now. It's like this train. It can't run anywhere except where its rails take it. Uh, that's a 
It's a poetic statement, Ralph. <laughs> Cloud. <laughs> oh, God. And the writing. And here we are. In the train graveyard. We made it. It's time to have more beer. Man, they almost have legs like tree trunks. All they do is just jump everywhere. You can get another train. So you imagine if you did this crap just in everyday life. Yo, get over here, y'all. Stuck to this dude. When you've been a train man as long as I have, you see a lot of people and a lot of lives. People meeting, partying, joy, sadness. After a while, it doesn't even get to you anymore. Damn, who knew being a train conductor could be so bleak? This mission was a success, but don't get lazy now. The hard part's still to come. Don't y'all be scared of that explosion. Cause the next one's gonna be bigger than that. Meet back at the headquarters. Move out. Oh yeah. Alright. Let's see what these two have to say. I'm not letting you go tonight. Whoa. Isn't there somewhere we could go to be alone? Whoa. There's only the train graveyard around here. And they say there be ghosts about. <laughs> Damn. What? Yeah, that was a very confusing conversation. There be ghosts. <laughs> I don't know why I'm starting to talk like a pirate. And the Disney pirates, not even the real ones. Ah, uh, um, excuse me. You cannot pass without the proper clearance. Did I do good this time? You gotta be tougher. But I, uh... Well, that you sure told me. What's this guy's gonna say? Hey, now, oops. What on earth are you doing? Just butt out, jeez. Uh, you come to see it too? There was a bombing on top. If this pillar should come down, everyone in the slums is dust. Well, there's no point in worrying about that. Hey, check it out. It's huge, ain't it? There's so many jokes I can make about that. Yeah, that is one giant pillar. A very nice pillar. A sexy pillar. At least for architects. Maybe. <laughs> yep, that's a, that's a hell of a pillar. Mm-hmm. Hey, this is a strange and wonderful place. This is my place, but you can come here when you want. See ya, bro. Yo, Cloud, over here now. So can I, uh... Sent in this pipe. No. Can I get in here? No. Alright, let's save. It's a good call to save, uh, as this will probably be where we leave it for the first video. Thank you all very much for watching, and uh, hope you come back to see the next episode. And uh, yeah, do the, do the whole YouTube thing of subscribe or like or share. Or don't do any of it, I don't know. Just have a nice day, and I'll talk to you guys later. Cheers.